went to an all-boys boarding school from the age of six because my parents loved me. <laughs> Just to sort of give you the idea of the sort of kids I went to school with, we're the ones who wore Jack Wills hoodies and listened to rap music while eating sugar snap peas. Didn't realize why well, that makes no sense. Oh my God, Biggie Smalls just gets me, yeah? <laughs> we don't, we'd run away from the pigs, but ours were in blankets. <laughs> Well, the guys in the WhatsApp group nowadays will send you a fist bump emoji, but it'll be a black one, because that's not the colour we are. Banter! <laughs> it's not cool. You see everyone looking around for the only black person to see if that's okay. <laughs> are they laughing? Are they laughing? Is that okay? Is that all right? Are we all right? Is that fine? I think that's fine. I got, I got bullied badly at school. No, sorry, they weren't bad at bullying. <laughs> You've got a nice haircut and your mum's got a reasonable job. No, no, no. <laughs> they were really good at bullying. It's because I was into drama and that was gay! You gay lord, you're in a fucking drama, you gay lord! <laughs> Hasn't affected me whatsoever. <laughs> because people always ask in an all boys boarding school if anything sexual happened between the boys. It's not that it didn't happen. It's just I was never popular enough to ever get invited. <laughs> Seriously, all the cool kids would be behind the tuck shop and I'd be like, hey guys, what are you up to? And they're like, huh, we're um, wanking over biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> cool, can I join? No. You're not cool enough to wank over biscuits. <laughs> Send me off to my room with custard creams and broken dreams. But it all changed, it all changed. Because in my second last year, when I was 17, in a school of 600 boys, they went co-ed. And they let, what does that mean? <laughs> I've got your back, mate. They let 22 girls join. Yeah, like, fucking deal with that, guys! I don't know if you've seen Jurassic Park. <laughs> but you see where they're lowering the cow into the raptor pen. As soon as we heard, despite the fact none of us had ever seen a vagina before in our lives, every boy instantly became an expert. They're like, right, guys, go get ready for the D-Day landings. Blah, 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 blah. I wasn't. I was like, new friends in drama class. Amazing. We can finally do guys and dolls. And I don't have to wear the dress. Oh. Which is a shame. They got us into the sixth form common room. They're like, right, guys, when they get here, blah, 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 any holes a goal. If you want to make a girl come, two fingers, corkscrew, insert, one, two, three, guaranteed orgasm. <laughs> are you sure that works? <laughs> well, it worked on Malcolm. Oh. <laughs> we thought we were going to destroy those women. But of course we didn't. Because anyone who knows a 17-year-old boy and a 17-year-old girl knows that a 17-year-old girl is by far the more sexually powerful than a 17-year-old boy. I'll give you an example. A premiership footballer is one of the most sought-after, well-paid jobs a guy could ever hope to get. And a 17-year-old girl has the power, should she wish, to destroy that man's career in one evening. <laughs> you put a 17-year-old boy in at Victoria's Secret Fashion Week, let's see how much damage that cunt's doing. With his bum fluff and his pogs. <laughs> so when these girls arrive, like some alien species over the brow of a hill, just going boobs, 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 every boy shat themselves. As soon as they walked in, it was like floor is lava. Oh my God, that's so beautiful! What do, we do? do you know how hard it is to sit your A-levels with a constant erection? It's impossible. <laughs> the only time we crossed our fingers was just to pray they didn't come near us. The girls were coming around the back of the tuck shop to the cool kids going, hey, cool boys, what are you up to? And the cool boys were like, oh, we're wanking over the bit. Because <laughs> for the life of me, I don't know what the female equivalent to wanking over biscuits is. <laughs> Chocolate finger? <laughs> finger of fudge, lion bar? Circle of women taking turns squatting on a Toblerone? <laughs> to be fair, actually, not with the new Toblerone. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. 
<laughs> and breathe. 